Yeah, he said, it's nice living, but I don't like getting that guy. Kid said, yeah, he is nice. Sarah said, it's nice too. Dan said, if you want to wonder what her last side will like. Kid said, yeah, I have wondered. Sarah may be a long way to walk around the lake. Dan said, we could take a boat. Kid said, yeah, but you're not allowed to drive one. Dan said, I know. Dan said, how about we just go home? Kid said, yeah. Dan and Sarah and Kid lived on their one roof with their parents, and they were happy. So they went into their house and said hi to their parents, and they said hi to them. Next time they really came, and Dan and Sarah's dad were going to tell them a story about the lesson of Moon Lake, and they were looking forward to hearing that story. David and Sarah's dad said, Come around, guys, I'm going to tell you a story. It's about the lesson of Moon Lake, and it goes like this. At one time, Moon Lake did not have any tree around. It was a grassland and mountain around the lake. Even earlier before, Moose Lake wasn't there. It was a pile of mud. But there was something put at the bottom of that pile of mud. A secret door it led to a tracker. That is what the legend said. And that was the legend that was passed down from my father is what their dad said. Their dad said, that's basically the legend of Moose Lake, and that's something that's been passed down from my father about Moose Lake. Dad said, do you know if it's true? Dad said, yes. Yeah. I hope it's true, because that's what my father told me, but it's just a legend, so it may not be true. Basically, they were asleep, and... David will call, and he got to and he looked out the window of his room. When David looked out the window, he could see the lake. It was night time, so he could not see anything. But he thought to himself, I wonder, is the legend true that the door leads to a treasure of the lake? Or is there another way to the treasure he thought? After David finished looking out the window, he said he would just go to bed. It was basically the next day, I think, and David woke up like usual, I think, and he got dressed. And he went downstairs, I think, to his family, I think, and saw kids, and they had breakfast again, and it was lovely. David said, do you want to go to the other side of the lake? Kid said, okay. So I said, why not? Dan said, let's go. They were basically on the left side of the lake, and they were saying if they should go in the cave, or they should not go in the cave. And they said, oh, why don't we just go in the cave? Kid said, yeah, I said, said, yeah. And they said, let's go to it. They said the cave leave nowhere. It led to a dead end. They thought that he would to look around to see if there was a cave left to somewhere. Kid said, I, today I bet the only way to get to that treasure is the ball lake. They said, no. I know there's a second way. Basically, they found an arcade on their site. Is this the one? Is this the one that will lead to the treasure? Or is the only way to get to the treasure the bottom lake? That's something they were at their site. And they said, why don't we go in the cave and find out? And they said, yeah, let's go in the cave and find out. They said, where are we? It looks like some house. Kid said, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Dan said, how about we kill on flooring? Kid said, okay. Dan said, okay. Dan 
this, I think we're at the bottom of the lake. Kiss her, yeah, look at the window, you can see the bottom of the lake. This is, yeah. But this is, where's the tracker? Kiss her, how about we kill on flooring? This is, yeah, let's kill on flooring. Do, 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 do. Do said, what does this lead to? I wonder. Kiss said, I better leave the ball away. Do said, you're probably right, kid. But Do said, where's the trapper? Kiss said, don't you get it, Do? This is the trapper. To see all the, the hunt underneath the lake or hunting. Do said, okay, I get it. Do said, let's just get out of here. Kiss her, yeah, let's get out of here. Sarah said, let's just get out of here. They may not have found the treasure, but at least they were home. And the best thing about it is they had a cool place to hang out now, at the bottom of the lake. So they're okay with that. Basically, daytime turned to nighttime, and it was nighttime. It was time for them to go to bed, so they said goodnight to the parents and went off to bed. And then, basically, later on at night, the parents went to bed, and that's basically where the story ends for now.